Perseus the Deliverer, composed between the twilight of the 19th century and the dawn of the 20th, stands as the sole drama published during Sri Aurobindo's lifetime. First appearing in 1907, this blank verse drama, structured into five acts, each containing three scenes, saw an additional chapter introduced in its 1942 reprint, contextualizing the contemporary phenomenon of Hitler. The play is grounded in the Hellenic Perseus Andromeda myth, previously explored by Ovid, Cornell, and Kingsley. Sri Aurobindo transplants Hellenic romance and heroism into a Syrian context, imbuing the narrative with supernatural elements enriched by his vivid imagination and intellectual humanism. The dramatist navigates the semi-primitive temperament of the depicted era, offering profound psychic and spiritual insights into the heroine's heart. Common sense humanistic values in the public leader, and a transformative sense in others that elevates gross heroism and sacrificial ideologies to the possibility of a higher divine life. The mythological framework serves as the foundational narrative around which Aurobindo weaves a tale exploring human temperament and societal dynamics across cultural contexts. Drawing inspiration from Elizabethan drama, Aurobindo intricately interlaces spiritual and moral themes into the fabric of the ancient Greek legend. Central to comprehending Aurobindo's narrative construction is an understanding of the myth that underpins it. According to this legend, King Acrisius of Argos, fearful of a prophecy predicting his downfall at the hands of his grandson, Danaeus Child, confines his daughter in a bronze tower. Zeus, moved by compassion, descends upon Danae in a shower of gold, resulting in her impregnation and the birth of Perseus. Acrisius, still anxious about the prophecy, casts Danae and Perseus adrift at sea in a vessel lacking oars or sails. Providentially guided, they land on Serifos, where they find refuge and honor. As Perseus matures, King Polydectes, desiring Danae, schemes to rid himself of Perseus by sending him on a perilous mission. To slay Medusa, the gorgon whose gaze turns men to stone, and return with her head. Assisted by Athena, who equips him with divine armaments, a sword, shield, and cap of invisibility, Perseus accomplishes his daunting quest. On his return journey, he arrives in Ethiopia, the setting for Aurobindo's Perseus the Deliverer. The play opens with a divine dispute between Poseidon, portrayed as cruel and unyielding, and Athena, the embodiment of wisdom. This celestial conflict sets the stage for the ensuing human drama. Ethiopia, beset by internal strife, features prominently in the play's complex narrative. King Cephus and Queen Cassiopeia are confronted by challenges from multiple quarters. Polydeon, the malevolent priest of Poseidon, seeks dominion and chaos, while Phineas, king of Tyre, seeks to secure his claim to Ethiopia's throne by marrying their daughter, Andromeda. The drama unfolds with intricate layers of conflict and intrigue. Two Babylonian merchants, shipwrecked on Ethiopia's coast, are captured by Polydeon's adherents and destined for sacrifice in Poseidon's temple. Andromeda, moved by compassion and asserting her moral agency, intervenes to liberate the merchants covertly. Polydeon, incensed by this defiance, escalates his campaign of terror against Ethiopia. Exploiting the resulting chaos, Polydeon consolidates his power, chaining Andromeda to coastal rocks as a sacrificial offering to a sea monster. Perseus, apprised of this dire situation, employs Athena's gifts to slay the beast and rescue Andromeda. Overwhelmed by shock and despair, Polydeon succumbs to his fate, 
restoring order to Ethiopia and saving its sovereigns and subjects. The play concludes with Perseus rejecting material rewards, instead seeking only Andromeda's hand in marriage. When Phineas and his forces attempt to seize Andromeda forcibly, Perseus employs Medusa's head to transform them into statues, securing a peaceful resolution. In considering the origins of the Greek myth of Perseus and Aurobindo's philosophical motivations for its adaptation, it is essential to recognize his intentional departure from tradition. Aurobindo's reinterpretation seeks to articulate a narrative of human evolution consonant with his philosophical convictions. Let us now turn to Aurobindo's skill in character development within Perseus the Deliverer. Aurobindo constructs a sophisticated framework of symbols that serve as conduits for his philosophical reflections on evolution. Characters in the drama function as vessels for his vision of humanity. A notable aspect of Aurobindo's character construction is the categorization of characters according to their proximity to light or darkness. Andromeda, for instance, embodies compassion and love, whereas Polydeon, the priest of Poseidon, epitomizes dark rituals devoid of spiritual illumination. Perseus, endowed with semi-divine attributes, emerges as a harbinger of enlightenment and societal renewal. Andromeda, closely aligned with nascent consciousness, catalyzes the transformation of her oppressive Melia into one characterized by compassion and humanity. Aurobindo's characters often personify broader human traits or spiritual conditions. Andromeda exemplifies agency and universal consciousness, influencing those around her, while Polydeon symbolizes resistance to spiritual evolution and the persistence of darkness. Transformation is a pivotal element in Aurobindo's characterization. Characters undergo transitions in states of consciousness, reflecting their spiritual progress or stagnation. Perseus's use of Medusa's head to petrify Phineas and his soldiers illustrates their resistance to enlightenment. In contrast, characters such as the king and queen exhibit varying degrees of transformation towards light and spiritual awareness. Aurobindo's deliberate approach to characterization resonates with his philosophy of collective human evolution, evident across his epic works. Perseus the Deliverer underscores the enduring relevance of mythological narratives in contemporary consciousness and society. Aurobindo examines the impediments faced by humanity, necessitating intervention by figures like Perseus, who straddle the divine and mortal realms to effect transformative change. At the drama's conclusion, the people of Syria celebrate their metamorphosed society. The threat posed by Poseidon's priest is neutralized, Polydeon's influence wanes, Andromeda is free to marry Perseus, and peace prevails. This transformation epitomizes Aurobindo's vision of spiritual advancement and collective human evolution. <laughs>